Hello, my name is James. I'm one of the ManyThing co-founders. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough how to get started with the app. The first thing to say is that if you're watching this video, you will have already seen this screen, but it's worth pointing out one thing, is that when you register with ManyThing for the first time, if you chose Facebook or email, very important to remember which one you chose, because when you add the next device, if you don't choose the same method for logging in, we won't be able to match your devices up for you. Okay, so when you've done that, you've registered for the first time, or you've logged in, you see the ManyThing menu, and there are two buttons at the top. One is in blue, says Viewer, and the one underneath is in red, and that says Camera. So if you're going to use this device as a video monitoring camera, you need to click on Camera, and then press the big red button at the bottom of the screen, and that starts your live stream going. Now, because we're recording all the time, you'd run out of space very quickly on this phone. So we stream all your video when you're recording straight to the ManyThing Cloud. None of it is kept on the device. And that means that you can watch your live feeds and your past recordings from any other device that has a ManyThing account. So we've set it up recording and where it'll go. And it'll, it'll go for days, weeks, months, however long you need it to run for. Now let's imagine that you're going to use ManyThing in a different way now, which is that this is your main phone that you carry around with you and you're going to use ManyThing to watch your other cameras. So now when you go to this menu you're going to choose viewer instead of camera and that takes you to all your ManyThing cameras that you've got in your account. I'm just going to put that in focus for you and here you can see that the camera I've got at the top says that it's currently offline as in it's not recording at the moment. The camera underneath that is live and the camera underneath that says it's this device, so that's the one we were just playing around with, so that isn't live because we're using it as a viewer right now. So I'm going to tap on the camera that's live in the middle, that takes me straight to the live image, and underneath I can see mo motion events. And motion events are things that many things says uh, has triggered a motion event and it's put a little clip together for you with a score out of 10 for the size of the motion, and so if I tap on the motion event it'll take me straight to that point in time and I can play it from there. And I can also swipe through the other events that have been recorded by the device. ManyThing will also run on iPad. In fact, it looks great on iPad. So you've got a beautiful big image here. Here's the same live image we were just looking at. Uh, and when we click on the uh, events just here, you get a lovely big list of all the motion events. And again, I can flip through my cameras really nice and easily. Now, the app is what you need if you want to watch live streams or you want to get alerts and see motion events and so on. If you want to get very precise uh, uh, recording and get to a particular point in time that might not necessarily have been characterized by a motion event, then you need to log into the website and there we put the whole timeline together for you so you can easily point, uh, get to a point in time that is of interest to you. And so underneath the live image, uh, all the recording, we put the ManyThing timeline and you can zoom in and out to a particular date. The other thing worth pointing out on here, and let me just bring that into focus for you, is that on the top right hand side above the image is the tools drop down menu. And when you click on that, you get the create clip option. Now you need to create a clip if you want to save the footage after the overwrite period. So ManyThing is a free service, the app is free and it comes with a rolling 30 days cloud storage which means that anything older than 30 days is automatically deleted but you've always got 30 days of recording to look back onto. If you want to keep something over that 30 day cutoff period you need to create a clip on the ManyThing.com website. The app is free, the service is free, there'll always be a free option uh, until we're really happy with the service and we think it's meeting everyone's needs, we're not going to introduce a payment plan, but when we do introduce a payment plan, uh, it'll be an option for you to upgrade to, we're not going to be forcing people to switch over to it, that'll always be a free route for you. I hope you enjoy using the app, please let us know if you have any questions or problems or suggestions at support at manything.com, we read our emails every day and we love to hear from our users, thanks very much, bye.